Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 49, Surds. Give these questions a go. If you find it useful, please do like the video. Let's get into the maths. Here we go. Okay, we have to show clearly our working, and we can split Surds up into factors, and 45 is 9 times 5, and that's useful because 9 is a square number. And 20 is 4 times 5, which is also useful because 4 is a square number. So the square root of 9 is 3, so that becomes 3 root 5. And the square root of 2, uh, sorry, it's 4 is 2 root 5. So adding these together, how many root 5s have I got? I've got 5 root 5s. Okay, now when we are asked to rationalise a denominator, if we've got a third and a rational number, like a whole number, then we need to multiply that fraction by the denominator but with the sign swapped. So like this. Okay, now what does that give us? Well, it's easier to multiply out if you put them in brackets like this. And then we can do uh, 2 times root 3, which is 2 root 3. And then we can do 2 times 2, which is just 2. And on the bottom, we're always going to get cancellation. So root 3 times root 3 is 3. And then we're going to get uh, root 3 times 1, which is root 3. And minus 1 times root 3, which is minus root 3. And then finally, we're going to get minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1. So the red ones will always cancel. So you're just left with 3 um, minus 1, which is 2. So I get 2 root 3 plus 2 over 2. And both of these terms on top could be divided through by 2. So I'm going to get root 3 plus 1. Okay, next question, we need to write it as a single third, so I'm going to simplify the uh, as many thirds as I can. And root 20 is the same as root 4 times root 5, and root 80 is the same as root 16 times root 5. And that's all over root 3. So this is going to give me 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5 over root 3. And 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5 is 6 root 5. Okay, now how to get rid of a third on the bottom? I just multiply top and bottom by that third. So this is going to give me um, 16, sorry, 6, and then root 5 times root 3 is root 15. And on the bottom, root 3 times root 3 is just 3. And then finally, we can cancel out a 3 from top and bottom, which leaves me with just 2 root 15. Ah, but we're not quite done, actually. Do you want it as just a single square root? So 2 is the same as root 4. And then we can multiply those two numbers together to get root 60 as our final answer. Okay, a classic rationalised denominator, but I notice I've got a root 8 on top, which can be simplified, because um, root 8 is the same as root 4 times root 2, which is equal to 2 root 2. So the top line, I've got 2 root 2 over root 2 minus 1, and I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 2 plus 1. Just like that, and that's how we cancel a third on the denominator. So the easiest way to do this, I find, is to write it as a double bracket on the top and as a double bracket on the bottom. And then just multiply it along. So we'll get 4 times root 2, which is 4 root 2. We'll get 4 times 1, which is plus 4. We'll get 2 root 2 times root 2, which is 2. And then root 2 times root 2 is 2, so it's 2 times 2, which is 4. 
and then finally we're going to get 2 root 2 times 1 which is just 2 root 2. On the bottom we're going to get a root 2 times a root 2 which is a 2. We're going to get a root 2 and a minus root 2 which will cancel and then we're going to get a minus 1 times a 1 is minus 1. Okay great so let's simplify the top we're going to get 6 root 2 plus 8 and that's going to be all over 1 so that is just 6 root 2 plus 8 and we're done. Okay next question um, it says show that this can equal this so I'm going to write first off root 12 is root 4 times root 3 which is equal to 2 root 3 so 2 root 12 is equal to 4 root 3 and um, just a square bracket I'm going to times it by itself uh, I'm then going to get um, uh, 36 that's going to give me 24 root 3 that's going to give me 24 root 3 and that's going to give me 4 times 4 is 16 and root 3 times root 3 is 3 so 16 times 3 is 48 36 plus 48 is 84 and 24 root 3 plus 24 root 3 four, four. 24 root 3 plus 24 root 3 is 48 root 3 so that is 12 lots of 84 times um, divided by 12 is 7 and 48 divided by 12 is 4. Okay, tricky question alert. It doesn't look tricky but there's a certain skill which you need to know in order to solve this question. So your first port of call is to multiply out the brackets. Uh, three times uh, 5 times 3 is 15 and root 2 times root 2 is 2. So 15 times 2 is 30. And then we're going to have um, 5 root 2 e. So 5 root 2 e. And then we're going to have minus 3 root 2 e. And then we're going to have minus e squared. And we're told that that's equal to f root 2 minus 6. So let's simplify this we're going to have 30 and we're going to have plus uh, 2 root 2e two e, because we've got 5 of them there and minus 3 of them there so we've got a total of 2 root 2e's two and minus e squared and that's going to equal f root 2 minus 6 so in order for these two things to be equal the rational part on both sides must be equal and the irrational parts on both sides must also be equal. So we'll start with the rational parts, those are the ones without square roots and this tells me that 30 minus e squared is equal to minus 6. So rearranging that tells me that 36 is equal to e squared so e must equal 6 because it has to be positive as says in the question. Now let's look at the um, irrational parts i.e. the third parts, the yellow bits and we're going to have 2 root 2 times e which is 6 so that's 6 times 2 root 2 which is 12 root 2 and that's equal to f root 2 so just comparing it means that f must equal 12 and we're done. Okay, tricky question alert. Only got letters here just to um, stop you using your calculator, which you'll notice I haven't used at all in this video um, because we don't really need to, and sometimes that can make it more tricky. So, what do we have here? We've got A, and now what is root 4B? Well, it's the same as root 4 times root B, which is 2 root B. So it might be easier to use it like that, 2 root b, and that's over a minus 2 root b. And 
again to um, rationalize the denominator you need to multiply by um, the denominator with the sign changed and doing that I will get uh, a times a which is a squared a times 2 root b which is 2a root b and another 2a root b and then finally I'll get 2 times 2 root b times 2 root b 2 times 2 is 4 and root b times root b is b so it's just 4b and that is all over um, a times a is um, a squared we're going to get a um, a 2a root b and a minus 2a root b so they will cancel and the last term will be minus 2 root b times 2 root b which will be minus 4 is 2 times 2 and root b times root b is b and I need to simplify this so it's a squared plus there were those two in the middle will, will simplify to make 4a root b plus 4b and that's all over a squared minus 4b so that is rationalized because there is no thirds on the bottom and we are done that's thirds done if you found that useful please do like the video that would be greatly appreciated and then move on to the next topic I will see you there bye for now